Okay, I want to talk about something today um, that has pissed me off and just generally pisses me off. Um, Built-in obsolescence. I just bought one of these uh, today. This is my second one now in, in two weeks. I just bought this charger for my Samsung um, because, and it even says, it even says Samsung on it, look. I mean, that doesn't imply that it is a quality product or even that it's a genuine Samsung product, but, but yeah, the, the last one just completely conked out on me, just wouldn't, wouldn't work or would work in some, in some plug sockets, but not in others. And then this morning it was just not working in, in any plug socket in the house at all. So took it back to the shop. Not to get a refund because it's just a little mum and pop shop that sells sort of cheap electricals and jewellery and things like that. Um, but I just wanted to show the lady there that, you know, the products are just conking out like uh, very, very quickly. Um, and yeah, I had to buy another one for for a song like 30,000 rupiah, which is equivalent to about pound fifty. So there's nothing. But it's too much when you consider you have to buy a new one every two weeks. It's just it's it's not fucking good enough I'm, i mean i'm not saying this you know against the uh you know the the indonesian family that are selling these products but the companies that are manufacturing them i mean this is built in obsolescence and the the other product that that didn't work just went straight into the bin and there was absolutely nothing wrong with the casing you know i just i don't understand why um these companies just can't make them a little bit better and make them so that they're functional and so that they don't just conk out after two weeks because it's not it's not the first time it's happened this happens all the time in southeast asia you buy these cables and i mean this is actually a proper apple one so this one's lasted quite a long time but you know i've bought like charger cables and things like that in thailand and you know you'll test them in the shop and they'll be fine or sometimes even like sometimes they will literally not even work at all um but sometimes you'll test them in the shop, they'll be fine. And then after a week or two, they stop working or you have to like really wiggle them. They're just cheap, cheap products. And um, cheap products are a false economy, not just cheap electricals, but, you know, cheap tights, cheap sunglasses that break after two weeks, cheap deep jeans that get a crotch hole in them after a few months. You know, all this stuff, it, it does take resources to make. It takes you know, human power, like, you know, pretty much slave labor in like, terrible factories, making this stuff just so that we can buy it really cheaply, and then throw it in the bin. And then buy more, you know, it's, it's a false economy, it's just to keep, you know, the money moving around. And it's, it's fucked up, you know, we've already reached peak oil we've surpassed peak oil now so they're still taking fucking oil out of the ground to make these plastic casings and this this wire casing and all that shit and then it could just go straight into the bin after two weeks i mean what are we doing what are we doing the thing is i can't even complain about it that much because i actually bought the fucking thing but there, there weren't any other options in the shop I, you know i took it back to the shop because I wanted to show her like these products aren't that good like you should but she didn't speak English you know I don't know if she'll get the get the message but you know if if you are in a situation where you're being presented with multiple options spend a little bit more and get the one that probably isn't gonna break I mean you can't like here in Southeast Asia there's you can't really just return things and expect them to give you your money back because they won't and you paid hardly anything for it so what do they expect and that's why they sell them because they know that they're so cheap that most people won't bother returning them most people will just throw them in the bin but that's why I think it's important to go and return it and say hey look this doesn't work and make a bit of a fuss not like at them but just saying look it doesn't work so please give me a good one now I'm happy to pay for it because you know I don't want to demand a refund from people who you know, earn less than I do when I'm trying to support their families and all that, like, you know, a lot of these people are, but just say, like, I'm happy to pay for a better product that isn't going to work so that I don't have to come all the way back here. Anyway, yeah, that's just my, my rant for today. It's just 
just annoys me. It just annoys me because the world is in a fucking terrible state. We've got kids living in what are essentially like landfill sites. Charger goes straight in the bin. Doesn't get recycled. Or if it does, it probably has some like poor rag picker picking through people's rubbish and like clumps of hair and mouldy tampons and like human defecation to extract this when we could have just made a better product we can stop raping the planet and all that kind of rubbish okay anyway like leave a comment i i can't imagine that anybody would actually disagree with me on this that we should actually keep buying cheap products that are just then going to go in the bin or like cheap clothes that just fall apart that you know some slave has made in an overheated factory I can't imagine that any of you would disagree with that, but if you do, like, come at me, come at me, let's see what you got. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just really annoyed right now.